Hi guys, I hope everyone is doing great. So today we will talk about what is the minimum you need in an enclosure. If you're a beginner, what do you need for your first enclosure? Let's go! And so guy, before Beginning this video, I wanted to make a quick shout out here to Boss Dragons, one of my best friends in in that ho in the hobby, one of my best friends maybe just in general, you know, great guy, great animals, great energy, everything. So it's just like pure kindness. I'm not pet or anything. Don't worry. He's just my pure friend, guy. Just friendship of the hobby of the hobby guys. So let's go. What do you need for your first enclosure? Well, beginning with an enclosure is already something, I think. So what do you need in this enclosure? Well, first you need the box. The enclosure, right? You have glass, PVC, wood, whatever. But what do you need in there? What's the minimum you need in that freaking enclosure? The minimum you need in that freaking enclosure is first hides. Let's make it simple here, take that example here. So you need two hides minimum, so one on the hot side, one on the cold side, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. First, what is the hot side, what is the cold side? The hot side is where your lamp is staying. For example here, this is a deep heat projector that is emitting heat, for example. And you need this because, well, snake don't control them temperature. So you need to have like a... Uh, what we call a thermal gradient. What is a thermal gradient? Is you have a hot spot, a spot where it's actually hot, and a spot where it's actually cold, you know, at the other extreme. So for example, here we have a 33, 32 degrees Celsius hot spot with a 23, 24 cold spot, for example. This is a pure example. This is the example, okay? So you need to hide at both sides because, well, snakes are predator, but they're not apex predator, so they have, they are also prey. So they need spots to feel secure. And a lot of the time, sp these spots are super tiny holes, burrows, um, trees, hollow trees, etc. Et you know, all this kind of stuff where you need, you actually have. A dark spot actually a, a, a hide for them is a dark spot it's a spot where it's hot where, where, where it's hot where it's cold but where it's dark you know with the one entrance this one has two this one has two this one is something else but keep it simple one hide on the hot side one hide on the cold side so they have a secure spot at both ends of course we're not talking here for example with this guy here this is something else but in general speaking, this is what you need. Then you need a water bowl. The water bowl is where you keep water. Simple. It's where you keep water because your snake will drink. And to drink, they need water. So then like us, they will take the humidity out of the air from their skin and absorb it. But it's not enough if you only drink that way you will be dehydrated so you need a water bowl like you need a bottle of water for example and once you have that you're good to go then what do you need also you need a substrate okay substrate what is substrate substrate is the thing that your snake will lay on that is their ground if you want it's the ground they will Dwell, they will go on it, etc. They will like sweat, swim if you want. They will walk on it actually. So this is pretty much what substrate is and what you want is a substrate that is absorbent because when they pee and pull guy does something. So this is what you you will need a pretty absorbent substrate. You will need a substrate that will be, you know, Depending on what you, you prefer, that can be, you know, cocoa, for example, it can be wood pines, it can be uh, not wood pines, it's not like, you know, super cool for them. 
um, you can have Linux cell, for example. You can have paper towel, like here, for example. You can. There's a whole lot of substrate, Repti soil, uh, Eco Earth, whatever. There's a lot, lot, lot of type of substrate, but you need a substrate to have your snake on it, okay? Because having the bare PVC or the bare glass, well, it's not super cool because for example glass they will burn if they have if there is lights they will burn from it if there is PVC well that will be shitty to clean for example if they poo if they pee for example for example okay so what you need also is uh, we call about we we told we 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 we, we talked about a hot side you need something to have a hot side right so you have multiple example here you have this deep heat projector you have also pretty much a lamp here so this is the the, the, uh, the, the ba most basic stuff you can have for having a heat spot it is a heat lamp this is just a pure halogen lamp you know there is also things like you know um heat mat, heat cables, all that stuff, you know, make your research what's better for you. What I would, uh, uh, what I would choose from all these heating systems or deep heat projector or a pure simple halogen lamp. Be sure to take good quality of course for both and you will be good to go. Another thing that you need in an enclosure right now also is a thermometer hygrometer. You have multiple multiple style, style stuff you have the stupid normal just like this you know that is people will say it's not something secure you'll have your simple like digital and then you have your 21 century here for example inkbird for me inkbird that is actually on your phone this is an app that you can monitor everything you see everything okay now we talked about DP projector, heat cables, heat mats, etc. So if you need, if you have something that is not an, a halogen lamp, you will need something like this. What is this? This is a thermostat. And what is a thermostat? A thermostat is a actually it's a monitoring device that will help you have your heat on control. Because, for example, a heat a heat lamp like this doesn't need that because well, it's on off lamp. These type of lamps like this, heat mat, heat cables, ceramic heat hammer, whatever you will see that is not an halogen lamp needs that. As long as it's a heating system, they need that because they will. If they not, they don't have it. They will continue to have like a hot, 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 hot. They will think it's not hot enough so they will have hot, hot and it, it, it can cause problems overheating snakes overheating um heat panel heat lamp whatever a lot of stuff you know this is pretty much super important so what is it in your enclosure your thermostat your thermostat is actually this so this is a cable and this is a, this is a probe that you put like i'll show you here did you put like this for example or there are multiple ways of putting them so like this for example and then you have your your temperature in your hot side for example if you want to put it in your cold side do it if you want to put it in the middle you can do it whatever so just be sure to to choose the right temperature you need so for example here it's a hot spot so it's configured to have a hot spot at 30.5 for example here if it's in the middle, I want something that is like 26. So I'll put the probe on 26 here. So there it monitors that here it's 26. And there, if it's at the cold side, of course, here I want like 24, 23, for example. And I will stay it stay on 23, 24. Okay. This is the pretty basics you need. Okay. So then what you would need is, for example, a branch, because in an enclosure, it's maybe better, I think, to have a branch and it's more beautiful of course so having a branch just a simple branch like this that goes all diagonal of the, of the enclosure perfect and actually you're good to go if you want a first simple enclosure that's just it I would just advise to you know if you have a deep heat projector if you have a heat mat a heat panel 
everything that doesn't create light. So not something like it there, for example, here a, a heat a heat lamp, just a halogen heat lamp. I would just provide them just a LED. I'm, I'm using UV, but you don't have to use UV. You can just use like simple LED light or stuff. You know, so they have a day and night schedule. You know, they know when it's day, they know when it's night. That's just it. So that's pretty it, it guys. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget to stay strong, Brian's room. Don't forget to support USR. Don't forget to um, responsible red tag keeping. Don't forget to new cab. And I hope to see you on the next one.